Good morning, friends. This is Pastor Joe Perlikathayel. I bring you greetings in the goodness of the Lord Jesus Christ. God is good all the time. He wants to give us his goodness. Oh, sisters and brothers, throughout this day, let us open up ourselves to the goodness of the Lord and receive that goodness and give it to one another, to everyone, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We have been meditating about how to be Christians. What does it mean to be a Christian? Today I invite you to meditate on Romans chapter 8 verse 24. Apostle Paul wrote, for hope, um, let me read that. <clears throat> for in this hope we were saved, but hope that is seen is no, no hope at all. Who hopes for what he already has? But if we hope for what we do not have, we wait for in patience. In this hope we, are, we were saved. He's talking about the context of transformation, redemption. The whole earth is groaning and mourning for the salvation, for the redemption, for the transformation into the Garden of Eden. In the same way, our body is groaning and moaning for transformation, for redemption as children of God. So we will go through aches and pains, but we hope for the transformation of our bodies. Apostle Paul says, who hopes for what he already has? We have the body, <clears throat> but we hope for the transformation of our body. Therefore, we wait for in patience. In, in patience. <clears throat> Sisters and brothers, hope is an important element in our Christian walk. Faith by which we know Jesus is with us. He's inside us. He's all around us. Hope gives us what we desire to see happen, what God desired to see happen in and through us. That is hope, to see all sorts of great things, good things happening within our body and all around us. That is hope. We desire all sorts of good things and we hope for those good things to happen. Jesus is the hope of the world. He brought redemption. <clears throat> he paid the penalty of our sins. He brought redemption. Now the world is hoping for that redemption. How will that hope be fulfilled? It is through us. We who are the hope of glory for the world around us. Sisters and brothers, let us live in the hope of redemption, redemption of our bodies. <clears throat> but when our body goes through aches and pains, we affirm the hope. It is going to be reformed, transformed. Our body is going to be transformed into eternal body. <clears throat> During this world, in this world, we will have troubles and tribulation. Our bodies will have to deal with sickness, accidents, all sorts of things. But our spirit is being reformed. Our spirit is already redeemed. Jesus Christ is within us. Therefore, let us deal with the struggles of our body with the hope of redemption. That's what Christianity is teaching us. 
That's how we are called to be Christians. When we get hurt, when we are hurting in our body or mind, we know we live in hope for complete transformation. Oh, what a wonderful blessing that is. Hope of seeing all sorts of great things within us, all around us. When our loved ones are struggling with, earthly, <coughs> with their earthly bodies, we know that struggle is temporary. The body is struggling for redemption, for transformation. Oh, sisters and brothers, let us celebrate that hope. Let us let, live in that hope and thereby let the world see that we are the hope of glory for the Lord Jesus Christ. Sisters and brothers, will you join me in this prayer? Let us pray. Eternal Father, we praise you for giving us hope, hope of transformation as children of God. Lord Jesus Christ, we glorify you for living within us, giving us hope, hope of transformation of our bodies. O Holy Spirit, continue to come upon us, inspire us, transform us, transform us in the power of hope, hope of redemption, not only ourselves, hope of redemption for all the world. We ask this blessing, Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen.